Fala galera, eu invadi o Google para mostrar para vocês como são feitos os doodles. Mas espera aí, o que é um doodle? Doodle é uma palavra inglesa para se referir a um tipo de esboço ou desenho realizado quando uma pessoa está distraída ou ocupada, o popular rabisco. Os doodles são versões divertidas do logotipo do Google para comemorar feriados e a vida de artistas famosos, além de eventos populares como a Copa do Mundo. Mais de 2 mil doodles já foram criados pelo Google. Só nessa Copa, 35 versões diferentes do logotipo da Gigante das Buscas foram para o ar. Pessoal, eu estou aqui com o Matthew Cruikshank que é um dos especialistas do Google e que trabalha nessa equipe dos Doodles, e ele vai contar pra gente um pouquinho do trabalho dele e por que, que ele veio da Califórnia pro Brasil para fazer os Doodles da Copa. Hi Matthew, uh, can you tell us a little bit about your work uh, on Google Doodles? For the World Cup, uh, yeah. we had an opportunity to come to Brazil for one month, which is the first time we've ever done that as Doodlers. Uh, and we have a chance to make a piece of animation every day, celebrating a game or an event from the fans, from the players, to the World Cup, to anything we see from the culture to the streets. Uh, and it's an amazing opportunity for us. Can you, can you explain to us uh, how a doodle is made? So we work very traditionally to begin with when we think of an idea and we go to the board and we make lots of very quick sketches, silly little stick figures and letters, very basic. And then once we feel we have a good idea, we then take it into the computer and we use an animation program to bring it to life. We tend to make these projects within about four to six hours during the World Cup. Sometimes we think of an idea the night before or in the morning, and sometimes we think of an idea during the game itself. We also saw that you tease for, for some matches, the most uh, awaiting, uh, people are waiting. And, and also tell some, some social about uh, Brazil, like favelas and stuff like that. Can you tell us about this, this process? Sure, we, um, we came down two months before the World Cup to go uh, to visit Sao Paulo, to visit Rio, uh, to the favelas, to the beaches, to see uh, Christ the Redeemer, Sugarloaf Mountain, to get an idea about the culture. And this gave us um, some ideas for some gags and jokes and situations. Um, and we tried to make them as with, with as much variety as possible so one day you will see a small letter playing in a favela kicking a football and then another day that could be a Mexican wave with the letters sitting in the crowd so there's lots of different ideas that we uh, we thought of uh, based on our trip to Brazil do you have a favorite one from for this World Cup series uh, I do I did like Paul the octopus because uh, at the last World Cup there was an octopus that was predicting the results of the games. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us, so we decided that it might be fun to uh, bring him back for a day and make him choose some of the, uh, some of the matches. Leon worked on that, uh, did some amazing animation, and uh, it felt like a group effort, and it was a really fun project. Normally, you, you, have, you have more time to, to do the doodles, right? How is it working uh, right? It's so, so fast, so to have to work so fast. It's amazing. I don't think our job will ever be the same again. We're probably going to be made to do lots more doodles now, much faster. But uh, normally, if we were going to make an interactive game, we would spend three months on it, or a longer project, maybe six to eight weeks. But actually, what we're doing right now is doing a little piece of animation within six hours. So uh, we have to think of an idea very quickly. And it's very exciting, sort of not knowing as well. As a creative person, it's nice not to know what you're going to do and enjoy the process. Social networks, what people are talking about the, that do, the, which one is the favorite, do you do get this feedback? Uh, we do look on social media and uh, it's, sometimes it's overwhelming because it's millions of people looking at your artwork. Sometimes they say a lot of funny things, sometimes slightly negative, so we try and find a balance in between. Sometimes we get really good ideas from them as well, but um, that's been another really fun part of the project is seeing the project launch very quickly and then seeing the reaction from people, uh, which more often than not is positive, but it's also interesting to see sometimes the other side of things. You change the logo or the, the trademark of, of a company, usually get some uh, some problems to business people. But you on, on Google, you, you guys, you change every every time. And, and in this World Cup, uh, every day, 
more than twice. What is the responsibility of these? So from an artistic point of view, it, we think it's very important that it does spell the word Google. But within that, you can take a letter and play around with it. Um, it's a little bit of surprise for people that want to visit Google and use Google to also get surprised and, and enjoy it. So they, they know that it's Google already. So uh, we, we try and adhere to the fact that it reads Google, but also we can change it completely and people still understand uh, what the company is. And also uh, when you open your browser and type there Google and you you have a, a smile or something like that. It's, is this the, the idea? That's a nice for the World Cup. Definitely is to celebrate uh, the world coming together to watch a very simple idea of kicking a ball and all the craziness of the fans and the hysteria and the passion is, is, is really important. And with other doodles, we may be more poignant and more somber, celebrating more quietly. So each project changes, but for the World Cup, it's about the fun, the excitement and the movement. There's been a lot of, uh, of fears and about some issues on World Cup here in Brazil. Uh, for what you've been seeing, what's your feeling? My feeling is that everyone is overwhelmingly happy um, I think there's problems everywhere, all over the world, and we definitely want to celebrate uh, the diversity of life and also to begin a conversation or a dialogue about things like favelas, but at the same time they're very beautiful and poignant and every time that I visited a favela everyone was happy and smiling and uh, a great way of looking at life. So there's always a positive and a negative in, in everything. Um, I've seen lots of fans from different countries enjoying each other and celebrating and, and not, not, nothing sort of angry. Everyone has just been having a great time, which I put down to the Brazilian spirit. Uh, do you think uh, Google will try to repeat this, this project of Doodles on Russia? next World Cup? Um, it's not really in our nature to, to do something that we've done before. That's a great thing about Google is we try and innovate and do something different each time. So we probably would, would maybe do something, but it has to be completely different as well. It has to be something that has not been done before. That's what we like about this project is we hadn't done it before. We were invited down by the Brazil team and uh, we didn't want to miss this opportunity. Do you have any, any guesses about the, the last doodle, about the final? Um, I'm hoping it's going to be a Brazil-Argentina final because I would like to see a lot of passion and excitement uh, but we have a few ideas. We may, we may show highlights of the whole month or perhaps we'll do something completely different um, but we do, we do have a lot of ideas and pressure but we're going to see who makes it to the final first. So we have a few ideas, maybe four teams in our, in our mind that we think will make it but who knows, it could be someone, a very small team in which case we would celebrate that. But um, we're really excited and looking forward to seeing what happens in the final. Nice, and I hope you, your guess is right. <laughs> Maybe Brazil won. Okay. Thank yeah, you. Thank go. you, Matthew. Thank you.